Tomorrow we will pack and hit the road again. This time it will be towards our last destination. I really hope it will finally work out for the guys and they will catch the fish they came here for. They probably shouldn't hear this, but in a way, I think we are lucky for not being successful so far. We keep traveling from one beautiful place to another, and thanks to that we have already seen a great part of Mongolia. <laughs> Mongolia is the world's second largest landlocked country, is typically classified as being a part of East Asia, although sometimes it is considered part of Central Asia. Everything here is so different from what I know. Rivers so clean you can drink from them. A country almost untouched by civilization and people formed by hard work and tough conditions. My father and my cousin came here because of their passion. They are waiting for the moment they catch a fish so huge and wild that it almost seems to be out of this world. Catch and release it. I came here because I long to explore the world outside of my comfort zone and turn my back to civilization for a while. I want to learn about cultures and people and let my thoughts and feelings flow freely. to combine fishing and traveling. We are learning about the local way of living. It was quite an experience for us to taste the traditional Mongolian meals and live in yurts with local shepherds. What they considered delicious was sometimes hardly edible for us. We keep visiting new places, trying to fish at night as well. I honestly admire their patience. After 20 minutes of standing in the river, my limbs were freezing, I was all tangled up in the fishing line and I wouldn't catch a thing. Well, maybe except for a bladder infection. So I prefer to wander in the mountains and enjoy views from the top. Oh, there's a river that winds on forever 
experience here was visiting Tsatans, one of the last groups of reindeer herders in the world. Tsatan means the one with reindeer. They live up high in the mountains in teepees and travel from place to place. Tonight we will visit the local shaman. He promises to make our dreams come true. It's not so hard to guess what the guys prayed for. We are leaving the Tatans full of optimism, hoping that the shaman's magic will work out.
I don't know whether it was Shaman's job, but they ended up catching a huge fish. Let the years rush by us, let them greet us with silence. We'll be hopeless and fearless and careless like young lovers. I also got hooked on traveling. I think we should try to get to know our planet. It may not be completely possible, but we can at least try. Experience the vast diversity of cultures. And while it's still possible, experience the untouched nature, drink from rivers and sleep under the stars. (laughs) 